is Remy and welcome back to my channel where K-pop and gaming me and welcome back to another episode of Rags to Riches. So where we left off, um, I had recently bought Queenie a um, an easel, I guess, and I have been watching a couple of videos on like how to go about doing a, a pretty good Rags to Riches. So, I have decided to actually get rid of this easel. And we're gonna get her a sketch pad instead. Because I have seen that, um, you know, having a good sketch, um, instead of. Ooh, this is kind of loud. Hold on. I have seen on some videos about rag storages that it's better to have this sketch pad because it just goes straight into your inventory and you don't have to worry about um, having to take it off and you can just like load up the uh, the queue of having her sketch stuff so let's see if she can afford it and if not is it at? If not, then we're gonna go ahead and sell that little dog treat that we have and get her a sketch pad. Is this it? Yeah. Okay. So let's just go ahead and. Oh, I got her camera too. I got her a couple of stuff. Okay. So we're just going to. I can't remember for the life of me why I actually bought this stuff. I'm gonna sell that and no we keep the camera. The camera makes us decent amount of money. We're gonna sell this um, dog food treat because I know it's like what 200 and something. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do a couple of things with this. Where'd it go? I am all over the place. What is this? Okay. Get her the sketch pad. And then we have 275 for something else. Um. Hmm. Maybe we'll get her like, um, something, I don't know, what should we get her? Um, do they have maybe like a cot or something? So she actually has something to sleep on? Or should we wait for that? I think we're gonna wait for that. and maybe take this opportunity to get her like some plant potters or something like that for her yard so how i'm gonna do this is i am going to in order for her i'm gonna say in order for her to have this garden that we're gonna start up we're gonna have to deduct 500 dollars to build it and then whatever I think I took my UI extension out oh my gosh um, one second go and put my I said I was gonna do no like mods or CC but I guess I had to use like some of them a little bit we're gonna deduct the 500 out of her um, account and that's gonna be like I'm gonna refer to it as like a down payment for the garden that we're gonna set up for her so we're just gonna start off small just so she could have like a couple of things for her to um, plant and grow and stuff so that she doesn't have to um, constantly go around and try to like sell food or not sell food, um, make food on the grill because that does cost money. 
Um, we're just gonna start off with the cheap little potted plants. Or is this field cheaper? Oh, it is cheaper. Okay, we'll start off with that. So we're gonna do like the little patches. I'm just gonna put them like off to the side. We'll give her, I guess, three to start off. And then. Maybe, I don't know, what else would she need? Should we get her like a bike to ride around on? I'm gonna get her a little bike. Let me change the color. Just to like start off with, cause you know, she doesn't have to travel on her feet all the time. Um. And maybe a tent so she doesn't have to sleep in the rain. Where is the where's the cheapest tent at? I am missing it. Is this the cheapest tent? Hold on. Because where is outdoor retreat? I guess it is the cheapest tent. Okay, so we're gonna go with this tent, and it is four hundred and twenty dollars. Good lord. Um, I'll just put that right there, just to have her have something to sleep in and hide her from the rain. And then we're gonna put that little what is it called? That bush that is used often for the bathroom. I'm gonna use this nice little bush here. Um, and then I'm also gonna set her. I'm gonna set up her home traits to where it is. Uh, she's gonna do simple living. We're gonna start off the grid, and uh, I want to put it as a tiny home. I'm gonna put it as a tiny home. Oh, I gotta change this. We're gonna put it as a tiny home residential. You need at least four place tiles. You currently have zero. Okay. I guess just put some random tiles down. Just a boop, boop, boop. No? I don't know how this works. Okay, well, we're not gonna put it as a tiny home right now. Just to say whatever. Um, so she's got a bike now. She's got a little tent to sleep in. She's got a little bush to pee in. And we're gonna use the rest of the money to actually have her start um, doing paintings. Where is she? There she is. Um, wait, can she use this off the grid? She can, okay. So we're just gonna, I guess, let's start off big and have her make some sketches. And then we can sell those sketches for some money. And then I'm gonna go around and look for some more frogs because I learned that you can use, you can br actually breed frogs one of my friends um, actually was asking me about that and I had no idea you could actually breed frogs. There it is a rock here. I thought like once they're in your inventory you just keep them there and you can have them as pets or um, just I guess sell them. I never knew you could actually breed the frog so I actually don't know how to do that. I don't know if you just like keep them in the keep them in your inventory and it does it itself or how that works but let's see let's look for frogs are there any more little frog thingies I also want to go to Henford on Bagley and look for some frogs there because I know there's um it's quite a little a lot of um oh she made a large classic painting for $89 which is cool 
and she found a what is this ruby she found a ruby that is worth $36 or simoleons and then we're gonna look for some more frogs and then I think I'm gonna have her head over to Henford on Black Bagley to see what else they got Poor girl, she does not have a um, she does not have a umbrella whatsoever. But don't worry, Queenie, we're gonna get there one day. She got her feet out. Life is a struggle. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we're gonna go and and we're gonna check and see if there's some frogs in here. She found a striped leaf frog, which is worth, um, it's a common $10, 10 simoleons, that's not bad, she's getting tired though, but before we have her go to sleep, let's see what's around, cause we do need some like, um, we need some, some seeds or something, that one's not ready. Can she also rummage in the trash? There's nothing in the trash for her to rummage for. What's this? Dig. Let's see what's in there. Let's go around digging. I think how I'm gonna let this play out is... I'm gonna have her... Like, the more money she gets the more mods I'll add into the game. Like for right now, there's no CC, no anything. Oh, she found a time capsule. Let's open it up and see what's in there. She found a leaf, a mysterious time capsule. It's always fun to open a time capsule and catch a catch glimpses of time's past. So, like I was saying, she, the more money, I, the more money she has, the more um, mods and CC that I'll add into the game, like when she gets a job, um, I'll have her. Why are you being rude to the cat? <laughs> what did the cat do to you? Oh my gosh! Like, um, yeah, you're being rude. The cat is just over here chilling, and you're just like. I hate you. You're everything that's wrong with this world. Anyways, um, I get so sidetracked. Oh my gosh. The more money she makes, the more um, mods and CC I'll add. So once she actually finds a job, and once she starts making money, then like we'll see like a little change. We'll like have her update her style and um start building a house when she gets some money um, fish with bait what kind of bait do you have I'm not using my frog as bait I'm gonna keep that um, examine the water humor and hygiene festival um, I don't know if that's something we should really go to right now I do need to see when the flea market or what is it called the flea market I need to know when that comes around so that we can have some stuff ready for her to sell at the little consignment shop um, I don't care about any of that stuff um, I guess it'll just pop up whenever but uh, we're not really worried about any of the other festivals. We're just worried about the flea markets. Because that's where we're going to start selling stuff. So until then, we're going to keep all of this stuff in her inventory. And we're going to have her um, just like um, build it up. And have her uh, keep it for the flea market.
So we're gonna have her go fishing some more, build up the fishing skill, see what else she's got in there. Um, I see quite a bit of fish. There's a lot of fish out, considering that it's raining. Let's see what she can find in here. Brett, we're not gonna go to the um, Humor and Hijinks Festival right now. So, sorry, but no thank you. Let's see what fish she got. She caught a Tatera worth $8, okay. Mm, she's getting tired too. And she's hungry. And she has to pee. So we're gonna have her eat some of this. I hope it's not spoiled yet. Um, she should be fine. I'm just gonna have her um, oh shit. I'm just gonna have her I am not get girl, we barely have money. Why am I gonna give my money to you? I am not donating to you because you're just gonna keep coming and you're gonna keep asking for more money and more money and we only have 870 uh, 870 simoleons, so bye. Oh, is that a goldfish? Yep. She caught a goldfish and it's worth eight dollars. Let's see what else. We're gonna have her go all the way up until like eight. And then we're gonna have her um Oh, or not. We're gonna have her eat this. And then I guess use the bathroom somewhere. Where is the little bush that we put down? Where's all this stuff? Open what? Open. Where's all this random stuff on the ground? What is she opening? Oh, I guess they're feathers? Oh god, we gotta find her somewhere to use the bathroom. What did she find? Oh, she passed out. Um, seagull feathers. Okay, cool, cool. Um, come on over here and fertilize. Oh no! Oh no! She peed on herself! Yikes. That was, um, I'm gonna go ahead and take the blame for that because I, I definitely had you doing a, a lot of stuff that you you could have waited to do. I am I am so sorry. Queenie is just like screw this. I am just gonna go to bed. I'll worry about whatever in the morning. She is very embarrassed from peeing on herself and she went back to sleep. We're gonna have to, where can she use the, do we have to like, take her to the gym to find her somewhere to use the bathroom? Can she take, no, she can't go in there. Can she clean herself up? Nope, not in there. Can she, um, I don't know. Can she like bathe in here? She can't, right? I feel like she should be able to like, take a little dip in the pond she's hungry she's gonna get some more food I feel like she should be able to like go on the lake and like Woo. wash herself but luckily for us um Burlington Bay is very rainy so she can just take a shower in the rain And 
I'm seeing that there's some flowers over here, so we'll just harvest some of those, put them in our garden. I see some flowers over here as well. We're gonna harvest those. And then maybe like, we can, what is this? Nuzzle nip, we're gonna nuzzle. <clears throat> Is that like catnip? <laughs> we're gonna harvest that too and see what happens. And then I think she can, she's gonna, yeah, she can pur purchase seeds. So we'll have her get some starter fruits, starter herbs, um, and starter vegetables. Yeah, let's we'll, we'll just start off with that. I think she has she run out of. Um, she has one more gourmet fruit cake left for her to eat, so we're gonna have to start looking for food somewhere. I really hope the flea market comes around soon so that we can start selling stuff and start making some stuff happen. Um, what else? We're... I think we're just gonna go ahead and go to Henford on Bagley to see what they got going on over there. So we're gonna travel. Um, we're gonna travel by ourselves. And we're gonna go to Henford. I know you're tired. I'm so sorry. We're gonna head over to Henford on Bagley. Where is it? Henford on Bagley. And we're gonna go into this little foresty area. The Isles of Fundope. Is it Felope? Felope? We're gonna go over here and do some searching for some stuff. And see if we can, like, find. Maybe some more like flowers to catch, flowers to um, harvest, maybe some fruits, maybe we'll find some more frogs, and spots too. Alright, so what is she trying to do? Play in the water. Yes, go play in the water. Keep yourself nice and fresh. Oh, look at the ducks! I never, like, I never really play with Henford, Henford on Bagley, so I never, like, actually play, pay attention to what's going on over here. Oh, she can gather water? How does that work? Oh! So she just has, wait, where does it go? see the water in her inventory. Alright, well, she can, she can also, okay, Henford on Bagley, she can look for frogs over here. So let's look for frogs, and then, oh, that's so cute. Queenie couldn't catch a frog, they're slippery, better not let next time. Let's try again. And then if that doesn't work, let's go fishing. <gasps> she got a fish! Let's see what she got. A striped leaf frog, so now we have two of those. Gonna hit up some more fishing spots. This is- I never really actually- I never really actually- I never thought about like living here. So... Allow turtles to sun on love. Okay, whatever. Um, oh, she has a turtle! Sorry. Oh my gosh, it's so cute! Look at the turtle, guys! It's so cute! Can we collect turtles? I have a pet turtle. No? Well, whatever. But, um, 
I never thought about um, having her live here. Maybe this would have been a better option. Because I was going between having her live in Brimson Bay um, and the... In, what is the industrial lot that I keep forgetting the name of? The industrial lot um, or world. And yeah, I thought mm, Brimson Bay would probably be a better option for her because there's places to fish, there are a lot of parks there, and she can just go wherever. But I never thought about letting her live here. I forgot that, like, it's kind of. There's, like, a lot of forestry around. Um, we're not actually gonna go to the bar. So we're just gonna see if there's like some gardening gardening stuff over here so let me look at her needs real quick she's fine um if not then i guess we'll just go back home because i'm not really seeing like stuff that she can do not order a drink you cannot afford that You can talk to her, have a conversation, but we're not buying any sort of drinks. If you want to be friendly, you can do like a friendly introduction. She was like, hey. Um, and her name is Sarah Scott. Let's, um... Ooh, we can do we can offer to do errands. I forgot that you can do that. Oh my god, another way to make some money. So let's see. Um simple request. Uh you ever <clears throat> you ever have one of those days where you've got too much to do and nothing else enough not enough time to do it. I need some ingredients for my next meal, but I'm not sure when I'll have spare time. Would you be able to help me out? Okay. And then we can do a signature drink, which is, my pub's been rather successful, but I'm always looking for the next big thing. I think I have a lead on a new and exciting drink we could offer here and only here but running the pub keeps me busy and i could use a little help would you what do you think would you like to help make some mixology magic happen and then a friendly visit i've been meaning to pay a visit to some of my friends around the village but i'm awfully busy would you mind at taking a stroll and seeing how everyone's doing um these are all pretty simple things to do um and it says select up up to three errands from the various local hemford on bagley to help with and become trusted member of the community so can she just she can do all of them okay we're gonna start off small um we're not gonna do the groceries right now Because this one helps give her cooking ingredients and freshly prepared meal. This one says a local meal, sorn berries, and upgrade parts, and a chance of reading receiving a cross stitch pattern. So let's try that. Oh, yo, yo. So the first one is um, if we want to put a on ugh, if we want our pub on the map, we've got to highlight the local flavors of the Hipford on Bagley. And give and give them all something they're never drank before I've got some ideas brewing already but I need some of the berries and mushrooms you'll find around Bramblewood bring them to me and I'll mix them up um, okay so let's take a look and see and the other one is I was putting together some things to send out and I must have gotten a bit flustered because I managed to seal up this package and Plum forgot who it's supposed to be for. Would you mind 
lugging it around a bit and see if you can get it to the sim that's wa waiting for it. Girl, you done forgot who you're supposed to give stuff to? Oh my goodness. Okay, let's just go around. Because there's like a couple of people around here. I don't think she lives here though. Let's ask this guy. Let's do... Friendly introduction. Cause this is just like people from multiple worlds over here. But I I feel like he actually lives here. Let's ask him if this belongs to him. this guy. Is this for you? Keep looking because that package is quite certainly not mine, okay? Well, friendly introduction, do a friendly introduction with him. Okay, stop talking to him. We're on a mission. Oh, he's gonna come to us. Okay. That works even better. Is this your dad? No, it's not. Offer village package. Okay. Oh, it's for him. Okay. Well, that was easy. <laughs> Alright, what does it say? One of the best things about living in Hemphorn on Bagley is the sense of community. Everyone here helps foster. Um, thanks for checking in with a few of the locals. And don't be a stranger. Cool, cool. Alright, now she wants us to deliver a blueberry, raspberry, and a choco berry to the pub owner. Order uh order and drink bagel berry fizz sample. Okay. So we have to go back to the and look for it there. So we'll do we're going back to Blueberry, raspberry, and choco berry um, plants. But then again, I don't even know if they're still. In, I don't even know if they're in season. So how are we gonna do this? How does it say? Berries can be found on bushes and around him for non badly, or they can be cultivated at home garden. There's also sometimes available in grocery shops in Fenwick or you can trade them for by visiting the creature keeper. You're all the creature keepers aren't you? Where are you at? Um friendly introduction. See if he has any of the berries that we need. Was that the one that they gave her food for? Let's see. She has. She has. Okay, she's got the choco berry. She has a blueberry. Where did she get this stuff? She has chocolate berry, blueberry, and she needs, what was it? Raspberry? So do you have, do you have, uh, um, I need two of those. Do you have? I don't want to trade. I just want you to, you know, give.
give me the berries. I don't want to do errands for you either right now. Um... Maybe she's got to talk to him a little bit more. Does he have bushes around here? I guess she should just, I guess she could just always buy it with her own money, which is some BS. Oh wait, no, no. Did he give you that? Put that in your inventory. Is that some like extra, that's a Thumbs up, and don't forget to comment and subscribe.